Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you two items that I think every runner should have to help them along their running journey. The first is a running watch. Running watches are the easiest tool to help track your runs, measure your pace and your distance. It provides you with metrics that you can use over time to improve your running. I use an Apple Watch with the Nike Run Club app to track my runs. The Apple Watch also has a built-in running app. However, I like the user interface of the Nike Run Club app more. Plus, it comes with guided runs that you can listen to if you wish. A lot of runners like to use Strava, which is very popular. However, I don't like that it shows a lot of details about your run to all your Strava friends, including your pace, your time, and a map of where you ran. The Nike Run Club app is more discreet. It only shows the distance you ran. I also wanted to quickly mention that a popular watch option for running is Garmin. And Garmin has many different models, ranging from basic running stats to more advanced features for running, as well as for other sports and activities. I know that when I'm on the market for my next watch, I'll be getting a Garmin. And for those of you who don't want to wear a watch, you can also rely on your smartphone to track your runs. The second item is a pair of running shoes. Please make sure that they're actually running shoes and not made for the gym or simply walking around. They will not be able to provide the correct support for this higher impact activity. I personally really like Nike shoes. They fit my narrower feet well. However, everyone's feet and strides are different, so the best thing to do is to try on different models and brands and see which fit you the most comfortably, or get someone knowledgeable to assess you. I wanna highlight two things here. One, running shoes do wear out, so it may be best to replace them after about 250 to 500 miles for the average pair. However, the jury's still out about whether that's true. I would say just stick to how you feel. If things start to feel like it's being pulled in or around your feet, it might be time to switch to a new pair of shoes. And two, there are different types of running shoes for different runs, from shoes designed for racing to those designed for slower, longer runs. But we won't get into the nitty gritty details here. I also recommend getting a pair of water resistant shoes for winter time or for when it's wet outside. They really help to keep your feet dry. It is extremely uncomfortable to step into a shoe filled with water. Here, I have the Nike Odyssey React Shield. Any shoe from Nike with the word shield in the name means that they are water resistant. Before I end off, I want to give you one key tip for fitting running shoes. You should have about a thumb's width of space inside your shoes between the end of the shoe and your toes. That indicates a good fit. Because remember, your feet swell up as they get warm during exercise. So you want to make sure that they're a good fit even at the end of your runs.